All right, this is First Timothy's six and one. Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor that the name of Yahweh and his doctrine be not blasphemed. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them because they are brethren, but rather do them service because they are faithful and beloved partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. If any man teach otherwise and can sit not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach and the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strife of words where have come envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, destitute of the truth, truth, supposing that gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Aki, and pushing this word with truth, sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies to living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. Okay. So I'm going to analyze this verse. Let me screenshot it, actually. So I keep it as is. But uh, yeah, man, see, see what we're seeing uh, now is a lot of pride, man, risen up amongst men who claim to be uh, teachers, man. Right. We have to understand that we have a uh, um, matter of fact, let me grab this particular scripture. This is uh, this is St. John four and thirty eight. I sent you to reap that wherein ye bestowed no labor, other men labored, and ye are entered into their labor. All right? So that's one thing you have to under, we all have to understand, man. We have elder men above us that the Lord called before us to be our teachers, man. As the scripture says, your eyes shall see your teachers and they shall not be removed into a corner anymore. All right? This is, you're new on the construction site, all right? These are the men who have been here, who have the, the, the um, expertise, so to speak, the skills, or as the scripture says, they have their senses exercised to discern good and evil, okay? And these are the men who are going to stand over you while you lay in your bricks and tell you, don't do it like that, do it like this, and this is how it's done. This is the blueprint. This is where the brick is laid, all right? This is the mortar you use, and that's it. All right. OK, you're not to add your own shit, man, uh, it, 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 into this because that's what it is. It's, it's shit, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, and that's exactly what, what, what men are doing, man. You know. All right. So let me read that again. Let that let as many as our servants under the yoke count their uh, yeah, man, because, hey, man, the, the Lord put you under the yoke of certain men, man. Let me, uh, right, this is Jeremiah 5. I'm going to start at 1. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof if ye can find a man, if there be any that executeth judgment, that seek the truth, and I will pardon it. And the first men to do that, to wake up, <laughs> Was the apostles and elders a great millstone, man, and, the, and their elders ahead of, ahead of them, man? All right, and though they say Yahweh liveth, surely they swear falsely, right? And you got guys, you know, who even come in the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man, and, and they but they swearing falsely and by works they deny him, man. All right, O Yahweh, are not thy eyes thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. That's two thirds of our people, man. All right. The Lord's just going to have to do away with you on this side, man. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Therefore, I said, surely these are poor. They are foolish. They know not the way of Yahweh, nor the judgment of their power. Right. And yeah, you, you niggas are poor, man. You're foolish, man. And it's starting with you, with you heads, you, you heads of Jacob, man. You know, you guys who are self-proclaimed teachers, man. 
All right. I will give me unto the, I will get me unto the great men. Right. You know, and the apostles are great, a great millstone. Those are the great men, man. All right. And will speak unto them for they have known the way of Yahweh and the judgment of their power. Right. Which is, that's mainly the whole elect. Right. But starting with them. But these have all together broken the yoke and burst the bonds. All right. And, and what is the, what has the Lord ordered us to do, man, to be subject unto our masters, man. When the scripture says that servants be subject to your masters, it's talking about your heads, man. You know, it's really talking about the apostles of great millstone, man. That, that just what it is, man. Okay. So those are, are the men that we're supposed to be under the yoke of, man. Meaning we're supposed to teach what they're, what they, what they're telling us to teach, man. We're on the work site. Those are the men that are above us. All right. And, you know, we're supposed to be building according to the blueprint. All right. You know, <laughs> so you you guys have broken the yoke, man. You know. <laughs> All right. It says, wherefore, a lion out of the forest shall slay them and a wolf of the evening shall spoil them. A leopard shall watch over their cities. And that's that's basically our, our whole nation. You know, but mainly I'm thinking about you heads, man. Everyone that goeth out then shall be torn in pieces because their transgressions are many and, and their backslidings are increased, man. Right. So we're under the yoke uh, to be under the yoke of Yahweh Shai is to be underneath the yoke of the men that he set up. All right. All right. As scripture says, um, um, I'm thinking, I'm, I can't remember how it's worded, man. But Yahweh always says, Yahweh, the scripture says, my burden is easy and my yoke is light, roughly paraphrasing, man. But to be under the yoke of Yahweh Shah is to be under, under the yoke of the men that he set up, man. All right. Let me read too. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them because they are brethren. I'll start at one again. Uh, right. This is first Timothy's, uh, one, six and one. Let as many servants as are under the yoke, count their masters worthy of all honor. As the scripture says that they're, they're to count them worthy of double honors. All right. That's why we say double honors to the apostles. The elders a great millstone. Okay. That the name of Yahweh and his doctrine be not blasphemed. And that's exactly what's happening, man. All right, the, the the name of Yahweh by Shem Shah is being blasphemed by you niggas, man. And so is the doctrine, man. Okay. And they that have believing masses, let them not despise them because they are brethren. And these men, they obviously despise their teachers, man. All right, they despise the men that they learned under. And there's many uh, guys out here that, that are guilty of that, man. Because the apostles, the elders, are great millstone. Those are the men that Yahweh Bashim Yahshua set up, man. You have some very prominent men in Israel right now that were that began underneath those men. Uh, I'm thinking about one, uh, Nate, Nate being one of them. All right, and he's basically become an enemy of the cross now, man. All right, he's despised his master, man. Sakari being one, uh, Alize, and then the men with him. You know, a, a lot of these men, man, you know, all of them that claim to be teachers that are outside of this circle, man, but rather do them service because they are faithful and beloved partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. All right. So this is what we're supposed to be teaching, man. Just like a child is supposed to, just like the big brother teaches the little brother to respect the parents, man. All right. Any offense against uh, the parents is an offense against me. And again, an offense against the big brother is, a, is a, an offense against the parents because that's who the parents left to watch the house. All right. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, right? And as the scripture says, uh, uh, the, the time is coming where they shall not endure sound doctrine, man. And we're in that time where men are not enduring sound doctrine, man. Even the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, and the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing, 
but doting about questions and strifes of words where have come in envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men corrupt of corrupt minds. And, and your mind has been, your conscience is seared with a hot iron, man. All right. And destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness for, from such withdraw thyself. So, so that's why we're marking these men. All right. Okay, and we're letting you know to avoid these men. All right. Matter of fact, let me grab another scripture. Okay. Because you have many men. Um, hold on, wait. All right. Uh, this is, uh, Luke 144. Call all you like Yah, Bishop Rashad. Warn to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are as graves which appear not, and the men that walk over them are not aware of them. Right. <laughs> so you're like graves that uh, uh, that appear not, man. Okay. And we got to mark those graves, man. Okay. We got to mark those graves. So men uh, 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 don't walk over those those uh, graves and are defiled, man. Uh, let me read a little bit more. Right. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Yeah, that was pretty much it. That was a breakdown on that. So, yeah, we got to mark those that cause divisions, man. All right. <laughs> uh, those that are teaching false doctrines, man. And that's how. Hold on. Um, this is Philippians 1 and 16. The one preached Hamashiach of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bonds, but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. All right. And that's the mentality we have to have. We, we have to defend this word. We have to defend this gospel, man. All right. And we're gonna mark you niggas that 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 cause division, man. That's the part of our job, you know. That's just another little lesson I wanted to do. Uh, hope it was edifying and uh, shalom.